Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we created a sidebar and shared module in our Angular application. And in today's video, we will create a new activity component with routing. And after this, we will create activity reactive form with the controls. So let's get started. So in our Angular application, first of all, we need to create a components folder. And to do this, we will right click on our app folder and we will choose a new folder and we will name this folder as components. And after this, we will right click on this components folder and we will open this in integrated terminal. And in this terminal, we need to write the command which is ng, g for generate, c for component and we will name this as activity. And as you can see, our activity component is ready. Now we need to create a route for this component. And to do this, we will open app.route.ts and in the routes array, we need to create a new object. And in this object, we need to pass the path and the component. So let's write the path. And for the path of the activity component, we will give it as activity. And after the path, we need to pass the component. So we will write activity component and we will import this as well. And with this, the route for the activity component is ready. Now let's save this file and let's open components folder. And in this, we will open activity.component.html file. And in this file, we need to write the HTML code for the controls. And first of all, we will create a div. And in this div, we need to create two rows. And in the first row, we will show the title as activity. And in the second row, we will create the reactive form. And to do this, we will create a div tag. And in this div tag, we will write h1 tag. And for the text, we will give it as activity. And after this, for the ng style, we will give it as grid style. And after this row, we will create another div tag. And in this div tag, we need to create two columns. And in the first column, we will create the reactive form. And in the second column, we will show the activities. And to do this, we will create a div and for ng flex, we will give it as two. And after this, to show the activities, we will create another div. And for the ng flex, we will give it as three. And in the style, we will give the margin left as 20 pixel. And after this, we need to create a card in our first column. And to do this, we will use ng card tag. And for the ng title, we will give it as post new activity. And in this ng card, now we need to create a reactive form. And to do this, we will use a form tag. And in this form tag, for the form group, we will bind activity form. And after this, we will give it a class of custom form. And now in this form, we need to create the form controls. And to do this, we will write ng form item tag. And in this ng form item, we will use ng form control tag. And for the ng error tip, we will give it as please input the galleries. And in this ng form control tag, we will write input tag. And for the form control name, we will give it as galleries burned. And for the placeholder, we will give it as enter the calories you burned. And with this, our form item for the calories burned is completed. Now we need to create another form item to get the distance and to do this we will again write ng form item ng form control and input tags and for the type of the input we will give it as number and for the form control name we will give it as distance and after this we need to create form control to get the steps and to do this we will again use ng form item ng form control and input tag and for the type, we will give it as number and for the form control name, we will give it as steps. And after the steps, we need to get the description. And to do this, we will again use ng form item and ng form control tags. And in this ng form control tag, we will use ng date picker. And for the form control name, we will give it as date. And with this, our form controls are completed. Now we need to create a button. And to do this, we will use a button tag. And in this button for the text, we will give it as post activity. And after this, we need to disable this button if our form is invalid. And to do this, we will use disable and we will bind activity form dot invalid. And with this, our HTML code is completed for activity reactive form. And now let's save this file and let's open activity.component.ts. 
and in this component in the imports array let's import shared module and after this we need to create grid style and for the width we will give it as 100% and for the text align we will give it as center and after this we will create activity form and the type of this will be form group and after this we will create a constructor for this component and in this constructor we will inject form builder to build the reactive form and after the form builder we will inject ng message service to show the messages to the user and after this let's click on quick fix and let's add all missing imports and after this we will create ng on init method and in this we need to create the controls for activity form and to do this we will write this dot activity form is equals to and after this we will use form builder and we will call group method and in this we need to pass the controls and the first control we want is the calories burned and for the by default value of this control we will give it as null and after this we need to give the validators and for the validators of this control we will give it as validators dot required and after this we need to create a control for the steps so let's duplicate this line and for the name of this control we will give it as steps and after this for the by default value we will keep this as null and for the validators we will keep validators dot required and after this we need to create a control for the distance so let's duplicate this line again and for the name we will give it as distance and after this we need to create a control for the date so let's duplicate this control one more time and for the name we will give it as date and with this our ts code is completed as well now let's save this file and let's run our application and as you can see our application is up without any errors now let's go to the browser and let's validate the functionality of our activity form and in the browser we will click on this activity menu and as you can see we got redirected to our activity route and on this page we got a row with the heading of activity and after this we have two columns and in the first column we got post new activity card and in this card we have activity form and in this form we have the inputs for the calories for the distance for the steps and for the date and at the end we have post activity button and now let's fill the information in these inputs and for the calories i will give it as 45 and after this for the distance i will give it as 2 and after this for the steps we will give it as 500 and at the end for the date i will give it as 24 and as you can see our post activity button got enabled and that's it for today's video in the next video we will create a new service and after this we will write the code to call post new activity api